So hello everyone. Um, I'm Raphael, creator from creator of uh, Nobox project, and uh, today we're gonna see a Java challenge. So the Java challenge of today is about functional programming. So we're gonna take a look at uh, function um, interface and yeah, let's check it out here. Uh, I'm just going to share my screen. So I'm going to give you a brief of this challenge, and then I'm going to ask you what is the answer. So basically, we are we have a, a by function. Um, and we have a function, another by function, and uh, a by consumer. And they are basically um, functions. Um, they are um, mostly used for doing um, functional programming with Java. OK, so basically, we are um, applying two values to the functions. And here, we are joining them. And here will be the output. So I'm going to give you some time, and then um, I'm going to ask you for the answer. OK, so Padu and Rodrigo thinks it's 0. So let's execute the program. OK, I, I see my mistake. It's far. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to explain why. So here we saw we are co composing two functions. So basically, we are saying here that we are going to join Heisenberg, that is A plus B, and then Jesse, that A minus 2. OK, so we have both functions inside SO. Mm -hmm. And then we are applying um, those parameters that's two and two so when those parameters are applied um here so um a and b uh, would be two a and b would be four right yeah so here it would be four yeah, four, and here it would be zero. There it would be minus two, that would be two. Exactly. Okay. So here the, the first lounder would be two. two. Yeah, I got that. And um and then um this function actually is not um, it's not being joined with Jesse. So Heisenberg here and then Jesse will be just uh, thrown yeah. out because yeah. there's yes. not being signed here. And as you know, functional programming don't maintain any state. So this uh, line of code will be just forgot. And Heisenberg uh, will be applied, and then it will be two plus two, and then it's gonna be four here. Yeah, I got that also. Yeah. So then Gustavo will accept the first lounder and second lounder. So maybe here's the trick. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna debug here. So it will be two. Mm -hmm. What is the second lander now? Oh, it's not executed yet. Okay. Yeah, That's it's four. Yeah. Yeah, because we are just adding the numbers on okay. Heisenberg. I think it's just because it's a. Uh, if you put maybe a, 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 
a decimal place, maybe it would turn the result into 4.5, maybe, I think. But consider that we are dealing only with integer, that's why the answer is 4, I think, right? Could you put a, a decimal place on the, the last two, Rafa? On this one? No, the, 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 the A plus 2 divided by B plus 2 again. And one of these twos that, that you are doing there, you put like 2.0. Yeah. On the next one, next to the B. So B plus 2.0. I think it would, would change the result to 4.5, I think. I, I'm not yeah. sure, but. Oh, didn't change. Curious. Oh, maybe it's because the, the it's because uh, uh, the, the division is doing uh, it, it's done by two uh, integers, not the 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 right two. So it's two dot zero divided by b. I think this this will turn into four point five, maybe. And if you put a plus a plus two dot zero, Rafa, maybe it would change. I think the division do, done by a decimal would change the result. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, because the division by two integers, you just uh, get rid of the decimal place. So maybe this would confuse. For me, the most confusing part on this this challenge would be the the, the line thirty because I didn't know about what is going to happen. That you already answered. That is function always not uh, would not evaluate anything there so this was my my main uh, pain point to solve this challenge but then i was confused on the line 25 when you explained the concepts but i think it was a very good challenge thank you man so yeah this was the the challenge of this week um and if you want to know more you go to nobugsproject.com and there is a link there, uh, Java Dev Dream, and you can take the weekly challenge. So thank you.